And we're back. Butterbeer in hand and broomsticks in the sky. This is Lunari Moonbeam lighting up the airwaves with the electric Atlanta Arrows versus Charlotte Cobras. Quick Nimbus check for those who've been daydreaming. It's Atlanta Arrows 20, Charlotte Cobras 0. Time to switch up that potion, Cobras. Immediately off the bat pun intended, I see Vince Wallace of the Cobras doing the Macarena on his broomstick. Now that's what I call a Quidditch dance-off. But wait, his dancing seems to be a distraction for Derek Hughes. He shoots, but Mitch the Wall Harrison is there, and oh, Merlin's beard. Another mind-blowing save. I swear that guy has some time time turner magic always at the right place at the right moment. Chaser action shifts as Terry Black swoops in, weaving past Izzy Torres with the series of feints that would make a Niffler dizzy. A sharp pass to Jules Carter and straight into the hoop. That's another 10 points for the Arrows. The triple threat strikes again and the scoreboard now reads Atlanta Arrows 30. Charlotte Cobras still yet to hiss on the scoreboard. But wait, a skirmish near the west corner of the pitch. It seems Brielle Mitchell isn't too pleased with Franco Gomez's last move. Ooh, dear Merlin, Franco sporting a greenish mustache. It appears someone snuck in a sneeze wart potion. Classic Quidditch prank. Both players get a friendly warning from the referee, although Brielle can't seem to hold back her giggles. But all laughter stops as our two seekers, Chris Dawson and Felix Carter, are suddenly head-to-head in a fierce dive. Could it be? Yes! The glint of gold! The snitch is in play! Both are neck and neck, broomtail to broomtail, and... Oh! A sudden swerve by Chris! To avoid a bludger sent by none other than Izzy Torres, giving Felix a split-second advantage. He reaches, he stretches, and... And... Got it! The snitch is in Felix's grasp. That's 150 points to the Charlotte Cobras, turning the game on its head. From the ashes, the Cobras strike with venom. The final score now stands. Atlanta Arrows 30, Charlotte Cobras 150. I've always said there's nothing more unpredictable than Quidditch, and today proves it. Just when you think the Arrows have it in the quiver, the Cobras show their fangs. And for those of you keeping track, Lunaria's heart will always be with the underdogs. So today's a good day for Team Moonbeam. Thanks for tuning in to this thrilling season opener on Broomwaves 101.9 SM. Remember, it's not about the size of the broom, but the magic in the flight. This has been Lunaria Moonbeam wishing you clear skies and tailwinds till our next match. Fly safe.